Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just passed 740 subs. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, the Texas Longhorns, they have been really quiet in the transfer portal so far this offseason, but they finally landed a big transfer in big man from Virginia, Caden Shedra. He has decided to transfer to the Texas Longhorns. I'm I'm going to go over how important Cade Shedrick could be for Texas next season and whether this could potentially be the start of a trend of Texas being able to bring in some more transfer portal players this offseason to help Texas still be at the top of the Big 12 next year. Now you've got Rodney Terry as the head coach now of the Texas Longhorns. We don't know how his tenure is going to go with the Longhorns because after Chris Beard got dismissed as the Texas head coach, Rodney Terry was the interim head coach, but he did a great job with the Texas roster this past season, keeping that roster together and having a a great season overall and taking Texas very far into the NCAA tournament. But now Rodney Terry is the head coach and he's calling all the shots and he's going to have to be able to replace a lot of talent that Texas is losing. And you're bringing in Caden Shedrick, a six foot 11, 231 pound big man from the Virginia Cavaliers who has a lot of untapped potential. He was a former four star recruit and he was the number 68 player out of high school by 247 Sports. So he does have a lot of upside and he actually improved year over year when he he was at Virginia. He's only been in college for two seasons, but he did get better in his sophomore year from his freshman year at Virginia. He only averaged 6.2 points per game, 3.8 rebounds, and 0.6 assists per game, but it's not like he played the entire game for Tony Bennett Virginia last year. He only played around half of the game, so his per 40 numbers look pretty good. He shot 64.7% from the field, which is fantastic. Even though he is six foot eleven, you want him to shoot a high percentage from the field, 65% is pretty solid. 20% from the three-point line, he definitely needs to improve in that area and he definitely can. I think he could be a stretch five for the Texas Longhorns next year. He definitely improved at shooting the basketball from the three-point line for Virginia this past season and he shot 79.4% from the free throw line last season for the Virginia Cavaliers. Overall for a six foot eleven center that is really solid to be shooting almost 80% at the line and that's definitely translatable out to the three-point line if he does decide to shoot more threes for Texas next year. And I think he's going to have to be more of a stretch five because who does Texas have come Coming back, just announced Dylan DeSue is returning for the Texas Longhorns. That is a massive readdition for Texas as well because of the fact now Texas's center depth is secure. You have Dylan DeSue and Caden Shedrick, and if Rodney Terry wants to play them both on the floor at the same time, I think that they can. If they want to play one as a starter and one off the bench, I think you could do that as well. But Caden Shedrick is not going from Virginia to Texas to be on the bench. He wants to play. He definitely says he wants to be in a free-flowing offense where he can exploit all of his talent to potentially help him be able to get to the next level. Texas this has had a lot of success in the past getting players to the NBA, and we don't have a lot to go off of with Rodney Terry to be able to say that he can get players to the NBA, but knowing what Texas has done in the past, there's a good chance that Texas will be able to have a lot of success in that because the Longhorns are a great university and they play in the Big 12. And if Caden Shedrick can improve next season for Texas, then he definitely can still be an NBA player in the future, but he is going to have to shoot the basketball more from the three-point line because you're going to have to be next to Dylan DeSue, who did transfer in from Vanderbilt over a year ago, and he was really solid for Texas this past season, but he's definitely Definitely more of a guy that plays inside the paint, but I think they can both be on the floor at the same time if Cade Shedrick can do the things that Dylan DeSue does not. But the Texas roster is a lot of uncertainty right now, and it's looking like Rodney Terry has a lot more that he's going to have to do in the transfer portal to be able to get Texas's roster in competitive shape for the Big 12 next season. They do have Ron Holland coming in. He is a five-star recruit. He's a really talented player overall, and I think that he'll play a massive role for the Longhorns next season because he's a really talented player. He's more than likely going to be a one-and-done. I know that sometimes five-star recruits don't end up being one and done. We have seen several guys that have struggled once they've gone to college and then they've had to go to the transfer portal to another team to have success or just sometimes takes them two years to be able to go pro. But I do think that Ron Holland will be a one and done more than likely. So Texas is going to have to use him in a variety of ways next season because he is a very talented athlete and I think he'll have a great year for Texas next season. But Ron Holland, he's only one recruit coming in for Texas and they had two. But unfortunately for the Texas Longhorns, A.J. Johnson, he decided to decommit from Texas and he decided to play in Australia for next season to prepare himself for the NBA potentially in the future and he was a five-star recruit as well but he did decide to decommit from the Texas Longhorn that was a big disappointment for Texas but still at least they have Ron Holland in the recruiting class and he is a great player in his own right but Texas is losing Marcus Carr, Serge Jabari Rice, Christian Bishop and Timmy Allen all to graduation that is really tough right there all four players played a big role for Texas this past season on their team that 
did go far in the NCAA tournament. All four of those players are gone, and you're not going to be able to replace that talent right off the bat unless Texas can work wonders in the transfer portal. And getting Caden Shedrick is a nice start, but the transfer portal might be starting to wind down a bit. There are still players entering the portal. There's still a lot of great players left for Texas to be able to get, but they're going to have to step on it now if they want to be able to replace the talent that they're losing. And all four players, Marcus Carr, Timmy Allen, Christian Bishop, and Sir Jabari Rice, all had varying roles this past season, but especially Marcus Carr and Timmy Allen. Those losses are severe for Texas, but I do think that they can still be able to potentially bring in some solid players to be able to replace them, but it will be tough for Rodney Terry and company to be able to get that job done. They're also losing Rowan Brumbaugh and Artario Morris to the transfer portal. Rowan Brumbaugh, he was a solid player, but he did not play too much, so we don't really know how good of a job he would have done for Texas, but Artario Morris is a tough loss because of the fact that Texas really could have used him next season because they are really thin right now on the roster. They need players, and Artario Morris could have been a guy that probably would have gotten a lot more playing time for Texas next season, and he was a former five-star recruit, so I think Texas losing him is really tough, so Artario Morris transferring and A.J. Johnson going to Australia are both tough losses for Texas, but Tyrese Hunter and Dylan Mitchell are both testing the NBA draft waters. If Texas can get both of those players back, I think that would tremendously help Texas be able to have a team that could compete in the Big 12 next season. I still think Rodney Terry's going to have to do a lot more in the portal to get Texas toward the top to compete with Kansas and Baylor and some of those teams, but Texas could be a top half team in the Big 12 at least if they can get Tyrese Hunter and Dylan Mitchell back. And the odds that Texas can get both of them back are fairly solid. I really think Tyrese Hunter might come back. Dylan Mitchell, he is a freshman, so you don't know what he's going to do. He's kind of in the second round in a lot of mock drafts, but Tyrese Hunter, I do think he will return for Texas, but we'll have to see. But getting both of those players back for Texas will be a big priority overall, and if Texas can get both those players back, that will really help Texas's roster be competitive next season. Brock Cunningham and Alex Nimqua are both back for Texas. Alex Nimqua, he's a player that did not play much for Texas last season, but he could be forced into a bigger role next year because of all the talent that Texas is losing, and there will be minutes available for him to play, but Brock Cunningham, he played a solid role last season for Texas. He's a really gritty player that does a lot of the dirty work for the Longhorns. I think he'll have a bigger role next season for Texas, potentially, unless Rodney Terry gets some really good guys in the portal to kind of push his role back to being a bench player, but I do think Texas overall, getting Caden Shedrick is a nice start. They're going to have to do a lot more in the transfer portal if Texas wants to be a great team next season, but this is a great start for Rodney Terry. Caden Shedrick is a player with massive potential. He's a guy that's really starting to develop overall into the player that a lot of people thought he could be out of high school. He did not get that job done at Virginia, but he's going to Texas to be able to showcase his ability. If he can develop and improve for Texas and go to the NBA draft in the future, that would be a great look for the Texas program and Rodney Terry. But if Kane Shedrick can improve on his six points per game from last season for Virginia to around 10, 12 points per game and shoot around 30% at least from the three-point line and still having high efficiency numbers inside the arc and from the free throw line, he'll be a great addition for Texas next year. You can pair him along with Dylan DeSue, who's re addition for Texas was big as well. I think both players can definitely be on the floor together at the same time. Both players will definitely help Texas have a great front court, but the back court needs a lot of work. If they can get Tyrese Hunter back from testing the NBA draft, I think that would be huge. Losing all four of Marcus Carr, Serge Barry Rice, Christian Bishop, and Timmy Allen are tough. All of those players out of eligibility, but still, the well is not dry for Texas. Dylan Mitchell could come back as well, and Brock Cunningham and Alex and Nimque are both coming back. So Texas, they have a lot of roster spots to fill, but Texas is a big brand in college basketball. They have a lot of NIL. Rodney Terry did a great job showcasing his coaching ability last season after Chris Beer was dismissed overall and I think he did a great job and now bringing in Caden Shedrick things seem to be trending in the right direction for Texas overall they're gonna have to do a lot more work in the portal but Caden Shedrick is a nice start in the transfer portal for the Texas Longhorns and if Caden Shedrick can improve for Texas next season and Rodney Terry is able to bring in some more players through the transfer portal then I think that Texas has the potential to still be a good college basketball team next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content like this video down below comment down below what you think about Caden Shedrick transferring from the Virginia Cavaliers to the Texas Longhorns and how much you think his addition will be important for Texas next year and whether you think that Rodney Terry will be able to bring in some more transfers to potentially help Texas have a great season in college basketball next year. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.